Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Kevin with SurvivalistBoards.com and y'all remember about we were drilling some holes with a uh, tractor and then we came in and checked the holes the next day and they were like full of water. Well, I've got a thread on the forum about putting post in, in damp ground but it doesn't stay damp all the time. I mean, this is a... Uh, there's my guide wire right there and I gotta bring the post over something like that for it to be level close enough anyway what I decided to do was go with a chrysote these are pressure treated and then the chrysote is like pushed into the wood you can see how it uh that chrysote is going in and you know, this was cut after the chrysoting so, and then, to make sure it doesn't move, we're going to use quick creek on the bottom. I'm at a good stopping point. I've got the post set, three foot in the ground. There's my cousin's rooster over there. And um, three foot in the ground, five foot up almost exactly. That's five foot right there. Pour two bags of quick creek in there. Leveled it up at a four foot level the best I can. These fence posts will have like flat spots on them. And so you just, I just kind of split the difference the best that I could. And I use that stick there as a wedge to hold it in place, to level it up and hold it in place. I'll be taking that stick out after it's dried. And we'll give this quick creep like 18 hours to dry. It says two to four hours, but the longer you let it sit, the stronger it gets. Here we are Saturday morning, and cement's had what, uh, oh geez, 12, 13, 14 hours to dry. Now that's a little, that, okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, that looks good down inside of there. It's a block I was using to help hold the <coughs> post level. Pull this out of there. I was using this as a wedge. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Throw that over there. Oh, yeah. That is nice and solid. Nice and solid. Remember, that's two bags of quick creek. And each one, right up against that, that line. We've got to stake that over there. That's for the other fence. We'll be working on that probably in two weeks. That's exactly five foot high right there. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna give that set some more time to cure. The longer it cure, the stronger it is. So I'm gonna let that cure for a little while. This one here, I had to get right up against the ground on that side. Just to get it over to the line. It uh, didn't work my hole out well, but anyway. The cement, it wraps around the pole more than halfway so as it wraps around it'll help hold it and it's pretty solid it's on the on one of, on the earlier videos some of y'all made a comment about packing the dirt and somebody even asked questions how are you packing the dirt as you're putting it in and I told them that use a uh, oak limb that my cousin cut me we were getting ready to start he went over to a uh, pile of brush I'd cut down or a pile of brush I'd piled up and cut me an oak limb one end's a little big one end's a little smaller we're at the bottom of the pole we're at the top of the pole and all I'm doing is just we got the bottom two bags of quick crete they've had right right at 18 hours to dry Good and hard, seem like it anyway. If I hit that quick creek down in there, I feel the vibration going all the way through the ground. Just pit, put some dirt in there, pack it all the way around. Seems like right there, that little narrow spot. Turn the packer to stick around. See what I get in there, that little narrow spot. That's all I'm doing is taking. 
feels like it's 100 degrees out here working in the sunlight taking frequent breaks drinking lots of water and uh, just go around there pack that dirt in pack it in there real good and then kick some more in there I need to get my shovel a lot of this is clay get my shovel put that in there pack it again until it gets flush with the top of the ground 